And it's your favorite podcast on Channel 25 News. 25 News on the dial. On the dial. Channel 25 News. Your favorite podcast. Brought to you by the BBC. The Physics Study Group has like TBSG. And we back again. After a little small hiatus. Or one more again. I had to saw some niggas up on the court, you feel me? <laughs> Draining threes. Draining threes. I fucked in that up, it still ain't fixed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your boy, Mr. Dramatic, aka Skip Bearless, for the time being. Or FTTB. Ah. For the time being. Or FTB. Anyway. No, and this. FTB. <laughs> And this is Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Stallion III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich. And to my left-hand side... You no. can't see... It, it's your boy, David right. Boba, uh, a.k.a. A. T. Boa Bite. Boba. Oh, boy. Who that? The Beach Cruiser. <laughs> the Beach Cruiser, that's your love. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> And um, once again, our boy Shabby. Hmm. Still I actually got space? an update from the... The Ringulons. <laughs> well, what what do they say? They say he's he's you know, I don't want to smear his name, but he's trying to enjoy it at this point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, yeah, he kind of don't want to come back home, but he's having a good time. Uh huh. He said, you know, this is a regular symptom. He's gonna realize what's happening. He's gonna want out again. Okay. 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 Yeah. They probably have him under some strong sedatives. To be fair. Yeah. 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 I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, some drugs you you could like be on some shit and like flick your your, your eyebrow and just be in ecstasy for five hours. So. <laughs> he said, "Flick your eyebrow." <laughs> <laughs> so Hell, uh, that might work. But, uh, <laughs> but speaking, speaking of flipping eyebrows, or speaking of flipping, ah, <laughs> yeah. But um. You know, we, we at TPSG are, you know, kind of in the vein of this topic today. Right. Um, entrepreneurship. Yes. Being entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. you know. We just want to encourage all the enterprising spirits out there. You know what I mean? Right. Like, the world is yours. Just go out and grab it. Yes. And before we continue, let's shout out a couple, you know, people we know, people we fuck with. Like, you know, Starve Marv. Still, Silver Lacou, they're doing their own thing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. most definitely. Yeah, you know, Star Marv. Independent he, artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, independent artist, yeah. He's, he does everything. He gave me a lighter. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He just has so much shit, you know, he's working. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Word, word. Yeah. Um, uh, another blog we fuck with is uh, The Urban Play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like them because they're consistent. They always post something and keep you interested. Mm-hmm. Word, word. Shout out to Urban Play. Yeah. Um, Geekland Online, of course. Geekland Online. Yes, yes. yes. Close big friends. shout out. Big You're, shout out. Hey, our, the, our promo code TPSG on Geekland Online, Yeah. it um, it gives you 25% off now. Ooh, oh, shit. Yes, 25? As of, yes. As of like, I think like Bro, you can get a Goku a shirt for about eight bucks. Yeah. So go on oh. there. It's, 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 it's a good little... You, you know, if something costs a dollar, you pay cent if Yeah, you can you know. get Naruto's headband and shit. Yeah. Like, real shit. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, Geekland and uh, our rotted. producer. Oh, oh rotted. No, rotted. definitely rotted. You, Close you always friends see with us. And you, yeah. Y'all seen the hats? Yeah, you always rock. They get the hurt. The shirts. Yeah, it's tight. Mm-hmm. Check out rotted.co. Keeping mm-hmm. us lace and whatnot. And, yeah. um, our man, um, who kid? Our producer. He does, um, his shit on the side. He films. He's a, uh, I believe he's a, uh, director of photography in, in, um, in the film, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he, he, had, he, you know, he flexes acting chops. I, I've seen him in a couple of clips, you know what I'm no, saying? Right. With the yappa on hand. Yeah. Right. Jumping goes, out the whip. Nigga was hopping out the whip with the big fire. Word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, like, and it's, it's, it's just great to see, like, um, a lot of people my age, because we used to talk about this shit, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, now we're doing it, we're actually putting it into action and, the majority of people I know have something of their own going on. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and that's a beautiful thing. You gotta, you gotta want to work for yourself, and you know, not have to answer to people. And you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, yeah so, it's, so it's a, what does it mean to be a entrepreneur? It's like you know, someone that works for themselves, their own boss. You know, they make their own money. You know, they're 100 percent their business. The 100 percent of the profit is going to them. You know. Mm-hmm. And of you know, of course, or back it, to the business. Or sorry, yeah, back to the business. Yeah, which is them. Yeah, mm-hmm. true, true. Nice, <laughs> nice little cycle there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, right. 
Or yeah, you know, I'm sure they still have accountants and stuff, but right. as far as the business side goes, mm. so strictly that. Saw them. Yeah. So, so basically, somebody who works for themselves, mm -hmm. you know, makes their, you know, has their own enterprise. And this, this can span through all types of different industries and mm -hmm. different types of what. Matter of fact, the more unique, the better. Yeah. You know, because you want to have that niche. Exactly. Exactly. So you yeah. have people mm -hmm. making money off the strangest ways, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. stuff that. You can only come to you to get. It, where, oh yes, where you can make, <laughs> you could be the dude that makes the cap to go on some kind of bottle, and you're, you know, you're a billionaire all of a sudden, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, that's true. But the thing is, you were innovative, mm -hmm. so you gotta get that person that credit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They thought of a better way to solve to, a problem that yeah, we had. Yeah, they made our lives easier. Yeah. Where <laughs> oh, I was in um, where was I? I was in Florida, in the middle of. Uh, I was in. Florida. Fort Pierce, Florida. Oh, shout out Fort Pierce. I was just in Port St. Lucie. They're, yeah. they're neighbors, yeah. Where? And I was, um, we're driving, me and my cousin were driving along the coast where, like, you know, there's a bunch of like, mansions and stuff over there. Yeah. And we, we passed by the, um, the guy who invented the barcode, his house. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's ridiculous. N niggas' house is ridiculous. I'm, I'm, I'm like, we're sure. driving, we're driving past his crib when we're driving past his crib for a little minute. We're like, oh, that's <laughs> that nigga probably has a compound. We're, but I, it's you, like you could tell it's what it was built a long time ago. Like it's pink. Like it's a, it's it's kind of. Yeah, when was the barcode invented? <laughs> that's yeah, what I'm well, gonna say. Yeah. Like you gotta like the barcode is the best thing until mm -hmm. something better than the barcode yeah. comes out. Yeah, yeah. I mean the QR code still didn't beat the barcode because barcode. It's not still as exists. accessible. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah, Word. barcode still goes strong. Like Word. the right. barcode is <laughs> like what we use until like I guess the mark of the beast type of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's yeah. funny, we always talk about you know, you know people like another great entrepreneur, Oprah. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, Oprah probably doesn't have to pay for that. But th this barcode nigga probably is living a lavish life too. Yeah. But we refer to him as the barcode nigga. He's probably not even a lie. Probably. It's, probably, it's, such, it's, it's, it's probably such an old adventure with an inventor is lie, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I, yeah. I just got to find might out be, when it was invented, but this nigga's laughing too. His kid's going to be straight. Yeah. yeah. And his, his kid's, kid's going to be straight. His, come on. Yeah. What if, the, what if their last name is barcode? That's. But they change it. I know it's, you know, code for. <laughs> <laughs> bar of the bars, you know what I'm saying. But what if? You know what I'm saying? Gary Your last barcode. name barcode. Oh my god! It's like you were meant. What are you doing here? You were destined to do this. <laughs> Gary but, um, barcode. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, but like that, that, and that goes to show you, um, it doesn't have to be a fame thing, because a lot of people only see celebrities or you know famous rich people, but most rich people you don't know. Oh yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're new millionaires every single day, and yeah. you'll, you'll never know their name. You'll never. They ain't even that flashy, most of them. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that <laughs> for real. Yeah. That so that goes to show you, like, don't don't just look at the people you see. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As you know, as that being an avenue, because a lot mm -hmm. of people, like, you know, especially in our community, they look and they feel like, oh, my options, I could, you know, music, at, being an athlete, whatever. Mm -hmm. But now, like. You gotta expand your horizons. Really look yeah. out there, cause there, there's ways to make money that you know, it's it, it's crazy. Like it, it's like I feel like lately, or maybe because we see it so so, <clears throat> so often, but I feel like it's becoming easier. Mm. I feel like it's coming easier than you know when we were younger and stuff for whatever reason. Maybe it's the internet or whatever. Oh, to be that. an entrepreneur. Yeah, to be a successful entrepreneur. Yeah, you could be an entrepreneur, but like a successful entrepreneur, like you know what I'm saying, like a. Yeah. You know, it's funny billion, you say a millionaire that. type person. Yeah, like that, the internet definitely, like, completely revolutionized mm -hmm. how how crazy. I mean, instead of instead of whatever product or service you're selling only being available to two or three, or your immediate circle or people around you, it now opens you up to the whole world by like an Instagram or a Facebook yeah. post. Or, mm -hmm. well, like I know people who set up shops who and they getting like response from places they never even dreamed of like yeah. immediately and those people are checking with them and consistently messing with them. So mm -hmm. um, definitely utilize those tools like the internet, social yeah. media. Mm -hmm. and it just broadens your reach and makes your makes your base a little bit stronger. I just I just don't want to hear people with the excuse like oh what can I do? There's nothing I can do. Like no, there are. Millions of things you can yeah. do. I'm but not saying well, also, you're gonna be also with Diddy, Doctor Dre, rich, but you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. well, at least but, not immediately. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nothing happens overnight. But with but, that, with the internet and with the accessibility, 
comes competition as well. Yeah. True. You know, so you got to understand, especially when you go to choose what you're going to do, that's something definitely to look at. You got to look at how many people are already doing it. Mm -hmm. You got to see, because a lot of times people try to get into things and the market is already saturated. Yeah. Yeah. Or what you're going to, what, what innovative thing or how you're going to differentiate mm. yourself from the rest of the 99.9% of everyone else in the market. You know what I mean? Word. Because it's like, yeah. you're like even even us, we got into this. We know there's other podcasts out yeah. there. I mean, the podcast, if you, we listen to more than ours. Word, word. <laughs> well, we're not going to say that on here. There's, yeah. other, <coughs> there, there, there's other podcasts that <coughs> feel like wasting your time. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, we know we have competition. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's why we try to, you know. But also that breeds creativity. Exactly. Yes. Because exactly. everybody's like, all right, I got to think of something that's going to put me over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, word. That's how you get your, um, yeah. for instance, we'll talk about them earlier. Take about the Instagram. Instagram for me is this nigga Haha Davis. Mm-hmm. He is hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know what he did? He found his niche. Yeah, you know his all his videos aren't the same or repetitive, but it's around the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he has Please. consistent comedy. He always delivers. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that's he found like all right, nobody's doing this, mm-hmm. or you know I'm gonna do this better. You know what I'm saying? Like Word. like yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I also wanted to say too is that um, entrepreneurs like evolve. Mm-hmm. Like the business you start with, often or it doesn't have to be the business you end with. True. You know what I'm saying? You could start off doing this, and that, and you know, this might run you for a while, and then you know you might go on, branch off into something. Cause some some things, um, there there's some businesses that's going to last forever, mm-hmm. but some some things are going to fizzle out. You yeah. know, and you got as a as an entrepreneur, you gotta you gotta recognize that. Mm-hmm. For example, if you if you get into music or whatever, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, music careers don't last forever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So a lot of times when you see like musicians, rappers, or even athletes, stuff like that, mm-hmm. careers kind of like car- careers that don't don't have like a very long time frame usually. Mm-hmm. You know, and you don't really. Uh, there, a lot of them branch off into other things like real estate. Oh, you should definitely like, set up yeah. that that uh that umbrella. Or yeah. That that safety. Yeah, that safety net. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You. you have to. You have yeah. to like. Especially if I mean, as those inner those uh those professions that you said, like a entertainer or mm-hmm. a professional athlete, those yeah. checks aren't guaranteed for a long period of time. Word. And not only that, I mean, like as people, your your passions, what what you're interested in, what you really want to do. Yeah. Hardly doesn't stay the same for twenty years. If you're That's, most people, you, you you're might right. be really passionate about something for five, six years, and then you know what? I've done everything I can do in this arena, uh-huh. but now I'm really I can see how I can influence this. So mm-hmm. you kind of shift that focus, and yep. I mean, so I, it, it pays, and it, it and it's beneficial to you as an yeah. entrepreneur to mm-hmm. to be able to be flexible. But when you decide, you know what? I'm going to go in on this. You focus. You go all in. Yeah. You do what you got to do. You feel mm-hmm. me? Word. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And like every day, a millionaire is being made on YouTube, man. Yeah. Like off of views and like, you got to understand, advertisers, all they want is eyes and ears. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If if you're if you have pe- if you have ten million people viewing your video a day, mm-hmm. you know, everybody's like, holy shit, everybody's looking at him. I'm mm-hmm. gonna give them all the money and everything. You know what I'm saying? But it it just like we said, it just don't happen overnight. You mm. create your material, you garner a large crowd, and da, 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 you know what I'm saying? You got to work for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nobody just hops on YouTube and like million views bomb. No, it doesn't happen like that. Unless you're already established outside of YouTube, obviously. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like it's, and, and I'm, I'm, I sound so adamant about it because I've seen, YouTube came out in 05. I remember from back then, mm. like you would have never thought you'd be making money off this shit. Like, oh, we just be watching videos for the rest of our fucking lives. We were just mm. watching videos. I'm not thinking class. about making money off this shit. No. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. crazy. And then you see the people, they started out with the shitty videos. And now they on TV. They just said, fuck YouTube. Mm-hmm. And they came back to you. You know what I'm saying? They not even spread out. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's just, it's just, just great to for see. Them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a check. Exactly. And it's they, some money. They it's some guaranteed shows money. And movies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it's crazy. It's like, you, you never know how... Or how things are going to change. Because mm-hmm. people, who, people who are really eating off on of Netflix was grinded before Netflix was a thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you just got to grind and you never know what, what avenue is going to turn up or how things are going to change. 
and being able to adapt to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being able to, yeah. Especially That's- in the beginning, because I mean, um, one thing, I mean, they talk about it a lot as being a being an entrepreneur or setting out on your own, the things aren't going to be easy, but it never yeah. really, it never really hits you until you're going through it. You know mm, what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, they're going to be long facts. days, lonely nights. People aren't going to understand like what your, like what your mind is, mm-hmm. will understand what your vision is, what your end goal is. And I mean, of course people are going to under, un- try and undermine you. People yeah. are going to sell you short and whatnot, but it's just, I mean, you know, you have that fire burning within mm-hmm. you. You know that you have, this vision and this goal that you really want to achieve. So, I mean, you got to stick, you got to buckle down, you got to, you got to get to it. And it's going to take, I mean, it doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. I know we've said that a few times. (laughs) But it's true. I I, I, I wish there was any other way we could slice it for you. I mean, think about how Rome wasn't built in a day. There we go. Some (laughs) Rome wasn't built in a day. (laughs) Some some of y'all have been rocking with this podcast from the jump. Yeah. You know, and think about how long we've been doing this podcast. You know, it hasn't been that long, you know, Mm -hmm. a year and some change, but, you know what I'm saying? We're still in the in the we're still very much on ground level. Yeah. Mm. You, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying in terms of of what we are trying to achieve. So you know you got it. It just goes to show like you know we're living that now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're kind of living the grind. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We're not we're not talking about entrepreneurship from the perspective of people who have quote unquote made it yet. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're still trying to figure out how we're gonna record and do all it, it, right. you know our saying? jobs it takes and, time, yeah. and make sure we get these photo shoots and promos and everything in, exactly. so we can give you guys a quality product. And exactly. all of that's a part of the grind. All of that's putting that pieces of the puzzle together to, to, yeah. I mean, bring you a masterpiece at the end of the day. Word. Yeah. And it, and and really, it comes down. A lot of it is is that self belief because mm. you really got to believe in this. You know what I'm saying? Because those long days, those long nights when, you know, and you're not getting paid, yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and you just... That's how you know you really want that. Yeah, shit. you like, just mm-hmm. grinding because you see, you can see what it can be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and, that, and that, takes, that takes foresight, you know, because a lot of people are short-sighted to where, you know, if it, don't, if it don't make dividends right away, they're not with it. Or they quit too easy because, you know, the money don't come right away or... Whatever they expect, they didn't. They didn't expect to, for it to take so long or whatever. Mm-hmm. But people, people mm-hmm. gotta see that you here for yeah. the long haul. Mm-hmm. That you're doing this, like, you know. Especially when it's some, when it comes to stuff like, you know, like what we're trying to do or what mm-hmm. we're embarking. You know, people have to understand that you know we're gonna be here for a consistent basis. Yeah. You know, people can have to be able to click on your thing and see content spanning time. I saw that in a. In a in a big crit interview, mm. he was talking about he was talking about the grind and, and getting there, and he was saying that um people gotta look and see that you've been doing this for years, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. some time you're like you got to have a catalog, mm-hmm. so it's like even if what you got going on is like good now, it's like wow, you know I'm not gonna get vested in this until you know I know yeah. they're gonna be here. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's very true. Yeah, and um one thing I do notice um amongst a lot of entrepreneurs that I meet is their attitude about things, about mm-hmm. their entrepreneurship, their mm-hmm. company, or whatever. Whether they're an asshole or they're an angel, they both have that this needs to get done though attitude. Mm-hmm. You can you, you ever had a boss tell you that in a proper way? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I understand this and that, but and I have a business to run. Yeah, you know and they have the joking. boss like, what the yeah. fuck are you doing? Yeah. You ain't gonna shut me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But they all have that drive like that. They're We're both not fucking serious this up. Another, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every yeah. successful entrepreneur has that attitude. And you have to have that attitude. Some people are like, oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you should definitely not have that attitude with something like a company. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to have that note. Like, you're right, but can I have this done so my company can keep going? Word. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, like they ha- you have to have that attitude of that oh, and determination. This, this is something <clears throat> that as an entrepreneur, un- like, people who are true entrepreneurs hate this shit. When, you know, or you have to be able to, when you say you're going to do something mm-hmm. or when you say you're going to like, you know, when you talk to people about ideas or even just propose things, mm-hmm. you have to come from a place where you're ready to execute. Oh, say it louder for the it's people. It's nothing worse the than people who like, you know, talk dreams all the time. But when you're like, all right, so what are we going to do? You know, the, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, so no, it's no, like, no, uh, like, nah. All right. Oh, if you, okay. if, if you want to talk about it, if you want to. <laughs> If you want to, you know, if, 
even if you're gonna say, hey man, let's get together and do da 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 da, some some, do it. Don't just, <laughs> yeah, don't, you're, don't, you're right. You're right. Don't just do it because a, a lot of people say stuff, but don't go follow through. So, you know, I guess the the lesson from that would be is to be cognizant of what you say, mm-hmm. but, yeah. and kind of like or, you know, really think about things before you say it to people. Mm-hmm. Before you tell somebody, hey, I'll be down to do something like that. Really think about it. Yeah. Think about just what... Just don't give them a, the, an empty Yeah, because a lot of people, I feel like just in the moment, they'll feel like, yeah, that sounds cool, but like really think about what it entails. Like say, hey, man, would you would you want to shoot a movie? Like, yeah, because it, it sounds cool to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, man, I want to shoot a movie one day. Another but really think is, about it before you say that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's okay to give an honest no. Yeah, true. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if, if it's something you genuinely either... Yeah, tell me from jump. You know, it's not for Let you me know from or jump. you don't want to. It's cool. Just yeah. you know, don't... And I'll never don't, rub it in your face because you're truthful with me. You know what I mean? You didn't string me along and when you it's time to jump off the cliff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Word. laughs> like, you weren't there. You know what I'm saying? Tell me from jump. All right. Bet. Word. Um, look at... Um, the good example is Blockbuster and Netflix. Mm. Blockbuster said, huh, no. People are going to continue walking into stores and buying physical DVDs. They mm-hmm. underestimate And Netflix was like, all right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they never begged them or nothing. <laughs> Word. Bill you know Gates. what I'm saying? I think, you know, I'm wrong. I think it got to a point where they're begging them. Where, like, they wanted them to succeed. Yeah. They got to a point where like, no, no, no. Listen to us. Mm. This is going to blow. This is going to end. Blockbusters just being like, no, nah, I disagree. And you know what, though? <laughs> I mean, that's, and we mentioned it earlier, which... It's being able to see what's coming in the future and adjust yeah. it and see how mm-hmm. you fit in and find your niche in the future, how you work in the market. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Blockbuster failed to do that. Yeah. And Blockbuster is a thing of the past. Your kids uh, born hurts. in two weeks aren't oh. going to know what the hell Blockbuster is. You right. know what I mean? We only know about it because we, we creeping up on age. Right. No, yeah. I, I've had times, some memorable times at Blockbuster, bro. You yeah. too? Oh like, my it, god! Friday nights, Saturday nights, it was, it was jumping in Blockbuster. Oh, what? And the, and the Blockbuster by my crib was two stores down from a wing stop. <laughs> you buy some wings, you get a movie. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. That's what you what? call a pleasant evening. You know and guess I mean? who worked at that wing stop? <laughs> Good night, people. <laughs> That was incredible. This guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no, get my free wigs. Go get a movie. They probably give me a discount. Oh, I work in the plaza, bro. Right. Oh, I right, bet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? Niggas just oh, be willing to give you a discount. For real. Just, just, just give me something yeah, where real. I can excuse giving you a discount. <laughs> Sam Blockbuster. R.I.P., man. Where? R.I.P. Hey, Blockbuster. <laughs> going, going back even further than that, Bill Gates went to a company. What uh, Was it IBM? I think... Uh, if if I'm not mistaken, it's IBM. Okay. He they 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 went there to kind of like to 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 pitch the the idea of a personal computer, mm-hmm. and they pretty much laughed them out of the office like nobody is going to use a personal computer. <laughs> Flashback now, personal computers are in your pocket. Yes. And ooh, that's cold. Yeah. It's cold as ice. <laughs> yeah. So imagine missing out on that wave. So oh. That being said, uh-huh. something that's true, you have to have to like, you have to be have an open mind when you're an entrepreneur. Okay. Because sometimes um, people pitch ideas to you, and it may not even sound interesting to you. Because some 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 money making ideas are boring. Mm-hmm. To be to be honest, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Hey, but, but if but it's got, if it's bringing in the the dough, then a, a, it's a go. Exactly. <laughs> Word. So you gotta, you have to have an open mind, but you have to have like, you have to be able to like have discernment as well. Because mm-hmm. some people, um, they they don't have an open mind to the point where they reject your idea before you even say it. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? They're they're one, never gonna work. <laughs> or it's or it's it's either one of these people who are comfortable with like you know the the employee lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. they find mm-hmm. safety in it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, um, and, or the people yeah, are kind of like, that's true. you know, oh, that sounds like a scam. Like, uh, you know, don't want to hear things off rip. Yeah. So there's those Granted, people. sometimes it's because they've been burned too many times. Yeah. So that's <laughs> so what you the, can't blame them. They basically got PTSD, you know. They're like, nope, not, nope, nope. This, that's nope. where the discernment <laughs> comes in. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I, anytime, anytime somebody comes to me with something, I, I hear them out. Hey, man, come to this meeting. I, I hear them out. 
Yeah. You know, I've I've gone. You're gonna to, get invited to a cult one day. Oh, I've I've been. I, you know, I've been <laughs> I've been in countless. Just don't um, drink the Kool Aid. I've been in countless <laughs> marketing meetings where it's like I, I I'll I'll be in the meeting halfway through and I'm like, nah, this is some foolishness. This ain't for what, me. What was it? Some eyes wide shut shit. I don't know. <laughs> oh, y'all haven't but, seen that movie? Nah. But like, <laughs> I'll post a link. Oh, no. <laughs> for those who get the reference, enjoy the laugh. <laughs> but but like you know you gotta you, you gotta hear things out because most of the things you hear are you're not you're not gonna do because of because you gotta look at. Several things you got to look. Is it a good business? Mm -hmm. Is it a good idea? And then you got to look at: Is it good for me? Yeah, at the, at, yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. Because you could hear things that, oh man, I, I've heard stuff like, man, this is good, but this ain't for me because I can't see myself doing this. Mm -hmm. Boom! And, and you exactly. Gotta, and you got to know yourself like <laughs> yeah. that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, know what yeah, you're yeah. into. Know what the type of person you are. So if this business is good, but it requires to you to be an A type personality and be out in people's face all the time. And you're not that type of person. That ain't the business for you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. As Straight good as up, as real. good as it may be, you know. Don't what I'm go saying? in it for years and you losing more money than you making. Then you regret everything. Just know, like, all right, this I can't do this. Like, yeah, you're right. Sure. Absolutely right. And um, uh, I, uh, we brought up Blockbuster. Mm. I just read on the internet yesterday. I could be wrong. I did not check if it was a fake article. Mm -hmm. Circuit City's coming back. Huh? I want to see how they're going to do it. Because H.H. H. Gregg fell. I don't know if you know. Yeah, yeah, H.H. Yeah, yeah. Gregg's out of business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nah. So Circuit City probably sees a little, you know, a little leeway. Word. Not a leeway, a little, you know, passageway Honestly, to word. jump they, in. But don't, they, don't Best Buy got that whole corner kind of wrapped up? Best Buy and Apple pretty much kind of. Yeah, yeah, but maybe they have like a crazy idea. And yeah. then once they reveal it, everybody's like, fuck Best Buy, fuck Apple. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, right. But you know. But yeah, that would be crazy. Circuit City Word. came back now. Now a lot of I, you I, at that point at retails, like you stop investing in storefronts and just start investing in warehouses and sell everything. Oh online. yeah, no, nah, fuck a brick and mortar store. store. We're, yeah, we're going to an online store. If you really need it and you want it right now, right now, you can walk to a store. But Word. we'll we'll Amazon that shit. Drone drop that shit to you or something. Right now, now I know a lot of you guys might be asking. You know what? I'm stuck in this nine to five dead end Wendy's job that I absolutely hate or it may, might not be Wendy's it's any job where you, that you're not fully satisfied and you're trying to figure out how can I I'm gonna break out and get into this entrepreneurship mode myself um you guys have any tips on that um by the way the Circuit City shit is true oh where mm. yeah Circuit okay. City announces relaunch nine years after closing stores Okay. February 15th. Get ready for Circuit City. The day after... Uh, I'm going to be there front and center. Yeah. Circuit City, you see my shit. So, I love Valentine's Circuit City. So, be, yeah. so before, no. before, we, before we give them too Can't much... Valentine's before we give them too too much free marketing. You know, they don't they need to run that check. They need to run that check. CC. Back, back to your question. Uh, I think, I think um, the main thing is like a mindset that you have to have. Mm-hmm. You have to look at everything for what it is. You know what I'm saying? You may like the people at the job, but at the end of the day, the job is a means to an end. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You may, you you may want. You know, it's it's it, it's a, it's a it's like a. I don't know. You have to have your ear, eyes and ears open for certain mm -hmm. opportunities. Mm -hmm. Certain information people get you get from people as to you. you you store that away or you have to find value in that. Mm -hmm. Find the value in kind of like looking at how markets are going or how culture is going or certain things. Because sometimes, sometimes like things can, you know, go across your lap and you missed the opportunity because you really, you weren't looking for an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, I, I, one thing I want people to kind of open their minds to more are these um, multi-level marketing mm -hmm. businesses. And um, I know that explain multi-level marketing. It it's kind of like I guess the it's 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 a it it's peer by peer marketing. So okay. it's one of those businesses where they um it's like a it's kind of like recruitment based. Oh okay yeah. You're talking about and that. a lot a lot of people kind of like frown on these things or they don't understand them. You know a lot of times when people kind of initiate them or try to go they they see it as like oh are they, is this one of those pyramid schemes or whatever yeah and but if it's a pyramid scheme it's a pyramid oh no yeah yeah that's okay. what again <laughs> again that's why i say you gotta have an open mind but you have to be able to discern yes uh, you know what i'm saying very important word. hear discern things me. out you know be objective you know don't mm -hmm. just say no because you 
feel, hear it out. Yeah. And you know, if it if it doesn't make sense, you know it doesn't make sense. And don't be yeah. yeah. And don't be afraid to tell that person no. You know what I'm saying? Or it's not for me. But like I feel like these things are demonized because it's a situation where somebody with no type of connections, uh-huh. no type of uh financial backing or no type mm. of you know, no type of quote unquote background uh-huh. can can be successful. Mm-hmm. And companies, I guess one of the most famous ones is Amway. Um, I don't know if it's. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if, if it's still true, but at some point, Amway as a company created more millionaires than any company in the world. Wow. But people always, people always like you know, frown on multi level marketing. Oh, you in one of those? Da, 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 da. No man, check them out. Check them out, and there's a bunch of them out. Yeah, oh, there's, there's tons of them. There are tons of them, and, and some of them, some of them are better than others. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So again, that's like, that's where that discernment comes out. Yeah. So if you wanna, if you wanna look into building a business, and you don't really have a particular business structure in mind, mm-hmm. um, look out for the one, one it's of these. It's a good place to start. It's a good place to start. You know, yeah. check out check out a bunch of them. See if any any of them kind of like appeal to you, or and and kind of start and and. It's a good it's a good way to learn too. I just about to say that. Yeah, if any yeah. if anything you'll learn some. Yeah. 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 I mean being able to approach someone and sell your product whatever that product is. Yeah, whatever is. it is. Mm. It teach it teaches you selling too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, selling can work out, you know, in regular everyday situations too. At the very the, least. You know, it's the um the persuasion and everything. That's yeah. the word I was looking for. But um wow. yeah, you know, but uh yeah. You know. <laughs> To answer your question though, and I didn't even think of multi level, or to answer the original question, I didn't think of multi level marketing as as a stepping stone. I would say, see what your actual, what your interests and your your natural Mm -hmm. gifts and talents are, and Mm -hmm. see where that kind of guides you. You know what I mean? Dip your toe in the water. You know what I mean? If you're if you're an artistic person, yeah, you don't have to be, you don't have to paint on canvas per se, but Mm -hmm. see how you can use that artistic ability. Find your niche, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. go hard, and see how you can create that product that someone would really want. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And it, it, if you can't figure out how your how your talents fit into something mm-hmm. else, join something like multi level marketing because mm-hmm. I yeah I, I don't know where I was gonna fit, but at the same point in time, now I'm forced to to build on a certain skill that you know mm-hmm. what I might not need it now, but I'm gonna need it in the future. So that's that's I, I never thought of that as far as or like start where you are. Word. Yeah. And don't be afraid to fail. Cause like Oh, fail faster. Yeah. Yeah. So you get out of the way, get used to it. Yeah. Word. <laughs> and that's how you learn. That's how yeah. you grow. Exactly. Word. All right. No, I'm not to do that again. Gonna do this next time. Word. <laughs> or approach things differently. Yeah. You know, I've tried so many things that didn't work out. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, well, in, in it didn't work in a, out in a sense of like long term. Yeah, I got you, I got you. You know what I'm saying? But like I learned a lot from those experiences. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people are like, you know, they might start something and it don't work out and then they give up. No, nah, take take what you learn from that and apply it to the next thing that you try. Yeah. You um, know what I'm saying? There's a quote that said, no losses, just wins and lessons or something like that. Yeah. 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 And then Michael Jordan said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. No, that's mm-hmm. a fake deep quote of the day. Yeah. <laughs> that is that's, a, that's fake deepness. Is but you know what's even Michael faker Jordan deep? Got that from. <laughs> um, he went back, sidebar. He went back to his college, North Carolina, mm-hmm. and I think the basketball team was in Final Four or something. And he went, you know, motivated or whatever. He said, he said, the, he said, the ceiling is the roof. Yeah, that makes like sense. your ceiling is the roof. Wait, what? Yeah, that's what he said. He said your ceiling is. And the did roof. they react the same way? They're like Michael Jordan. What are you telling us? <laughs> <laughs> no, just, everybody. We, it's we, Michael Jordan. He could have said. Just, I love brown cats. And ah! everybody came out that <laughs> bitch motivated. Know what he says. <laughs> I'm really hey, motivated after that. I love brown cats too. Word. <laughs> you know what? Some nigga probably got that tied in on their chest just because Jordan said it. Brown cats, <laughs> the, what is that? The roof is the ceiling? No, the, the <laughs> ceiling is the roof. Michael Jordan shakes the world <laughs> by saying the ceiling is the roof. And there's already shirts of it. Like, come on. My he probably God. did it on purpose. He's, this should look great on a Jordan shirt. I can sell them and make millions. The ceiling <laughs> is the roof. The ceiling is the roof. And we're going to leave you on that note because he's one of the greatest on Prison <laughs> So that might be the name of this episode. The ceiling is the roof. <laughs> Semi-colon. 
entrepreneurship. Facts be. Word. And it's uh it's Flocka always says, I never get to say it. Oh, give them the instructions, bro. That's about a podcast. That's <laughs> about a podcast. <laughs> yes. They don't know what to do next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So please and, um, tell them. Shout out to our late guest, Miss Taja Ra. Taja Ra. In the building. Shout out to Taja Ra. Mm-hmm. Crystals, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, keep check her. Uh oh. The original piece. Where it all started. When she blow up like Versace, this is going to be worth money. For <laughs> true. Is that a yes it is? <laughs> is that an original Taj Mahal? The original Taj No, it probably gets to the point where like, nah, nah, this shit fake. Because niggas might try to kill me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You might, you might, yeah. You, got, you can't. I've had that since 2017. You no can, way. You can't, yeah. 2015. <laughs> All right, but um, yes. And once again, shout out to all our um, entrepreneurs. Shout them out before, you know, the segment. Y'all keep doing y'all thug dizzle. Word. For shizzle. And, you know, we'll collab and, you know, build each other up like we're supposed to. You know what I'm saying? My Word. Dizzle. Oh, if you if you have a business that you want to promote, you know, holler at us. Leave us in comments. We'll definitely shout you out. We're all for, yeah, you for know, sure. sharing, sharing, you know, black business, small business. You, you don't yeah. got to be black, but, you know, we're we going to look yeah, out for you. you. <laughs> so We're trying to rebuild Black Wall Street, baby. Hey, you know. Check. You know, so you know, if you got a business, let us know, especially if you're black. You know, and we're gonna we're gonna shout you out, you know. You know. And with that black people only. This <laughs> this with that, that has been Mr. Jormatic. Sorry. <clears throat> Mr. Jormatic, aka Skip Beardless. Uh, for the time being. <laughs> giggle. Never forget that part. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Yes. Giggle laugh. <laughs> One day, the glorious return of the beard will be. It's coming. And I'll be flourishing. Not that I'm not flourishing now. Nah. Huh. But I'll be flourishing. <laughs> Even more. Uh, <laughs> and oh, this shit. is, and this was, and this forever shall be. <laughs> Flaka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Friday the Third, a.k.a. Pablo Heskovich. Tell them. AKA five dollar foot long. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> they hate that one. That's why I'm gonna keep. It. That's why I'm gonna keep I using. I don't condone it. it. <laughs> Ask the streets. I don't hate it. It's just I don't it's, love it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a why, dude. <laughs> it's like a shut up. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your boy David Bomaye, AKA Chico Fantastico, that fantastic Chico. Right. AKA D Boom, what bike? What bike? What bike? I ain't seen no bike. You see a bike? Oh, it's right over there, homie. Yeah. You know, you should have told me you wanted it. Uh. <laughs> tune, tune, <laughs> tune in next episode. <laughs> Peace. Holla. That's the sound of my fingers. <laughs>